What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another training guide. So we're kind of running out of time because <laughs> these young stars, even though they're around for another four days and today is Wednesday evening, uh, we are going to be getting new cards tomorrow on the Thursday. So obviously there is a view of, uh, you know, there is there is kind of a thing now where you are going to be getting a lot of similar cards or you're going to be getting a chance to re-spin for cards that you might have missed out before or your contract is going to be out in them. So as I've already said in all these videos that I've done, we are going to be taking a look at Kunda today. But as I have said before, right, if you've got a standard version or a different version of these cards, right, you can take a look at Kunda here. These are all these different versions of the cards there that you had the French pack, you know, you the Ch e Football Championship Pro one, you had his Barcelona pack, the Derby Day, you have his Player of the Week, you have a right back version of him here. This guy is down as a centre back, so his overall rating is going to be a little bit different than his right back version of him. His standard card is very similar to all these cards with more levels. So if you have got a previous version of any of these cards, you know, without going over myself again, um, they do link up quite well with these and the stats do look very decent, um, even on the standard cards, right? So it's more kind of a personal choice whether you spin from and whether you want to just not waste as much trainer points on these non-standard versions compared to the standard versions. So we are going to take at one of my favorite, I'll take a look at one of my favorite center backs in the game. Now, a lot of people kind of question whether you should play him right back or play him central back. Okay. I prefer him as a center back as part of a back three. Um, I do think that he is fast, but I don't think that he's fast enough with the way that the speed works in this. I don't think he's just kind of mobile enough for that route. Uh, if you are playing him as a right back, especially the fact that he is an extra front man, this card here, that is going to be a little bit of a difference. Um, if you are used to playing right backs or a defensive full back or anything like that, he has had player of the week versions where he was a defensive full back on his player of the week. And I think he had a card as well. Um, or maybe not. Maybe he just all, all of his cards were extra front man. So I will be doing a video on all the play styles if you're confused as to what the different play styles mean. But you are going to be looking at exactly what he is good at here, which is the player skills. You have heading, man marking, interception, blocker, area superiority, sliding tackle, fighting spirit, and acrobatic clearance. So Kunda is very aggressive. That's kind of the thing. Even though his aggression stat is only 76 for a base, he does have 21 levels to go. He starts off at an 85, but we can get that up quite, quite easily to train him up. Um, and I'm going to show you just one little... Um, one little trick with him as well, or not even a trick with him, but just something that a lot of people still, they still don't really take into consideration, right? But we are going to go over to eFootball DB. I think the thing that I'm going to look at with this card most of all is the fact that he's got really good tackling, really good jumping, and his acceleration and speed are in the 70s already, right? Does he, does he probably deserve to have his acceleration a little bit higher? I would say yes, but I mean, this card isn't going to be defined by a couple of, uh, lower stats than you're probably used to playing with right so if you take a look at this card here okay um his base card tracks very well with the french pack that was released and it also tracks extremely well with the eFootball championship pro pack um so this fans choice young star is going to be similar to these two that you already have maybe or you've already spun for or you've probably missed out on if you're a newcomer to the game so um his standard card is a good bit like is a good bit worse in across across every stat but that's not a huge concern. The bigger concern is his team play style. All of these special cards um, from the last six months have got, like in all the player of the weeks and stuff, have got the team play style set at 90. So you don't need to mess around with that when you're training it up. You can just put this training stats directly into his player stats, okay? Or the training progression. So for me, if you have these two versions, you don't really need to spin. They've got identical, pretty much everything. Um, bit better, bit of a better dribbler, but less uh, player levels. And this one is the same. He's only got 18 player levels each. This guy's got three more levels to go uh, with the fans' choice, right? So we've given you a version here that is going to be a right back. We'll give you a center back in a second. But this right back version of him is going to be all about kind of like a Trent Alexander style player, right? He does have good crossing. His passing isn't the best, but I wouldn't worry too much about that. This guy is going to be a very dominant uh, player. If you're playing quick counter or long ball counter and you're playing a flat back four, or even you're switching to a flat five, I mean, if this guy is on your right flank, you can always sub tactic him into a central back position if you want to stay three at the back or you want three center backs or whatever way you want to do it. But as an outright right back, I mean, him and Wan-Bissaka are two of the most difficult players to shake off 
um, especially with the way the wing play is gone at the moment, right? So you've got, you know, excellent speed and acceleration there. You've got really good offensive awareness, but defensively, he's super solid. We're only putting five into that, right? You've got 88 tackling that with the form arrow boost, you will be getting that into the 90 zone. Balance, stamina, acceleration, speed, all in the 80s. Pretty decent right back. But I do think that this is the better version of him, right? So we did have Delict and we had Militao in the last uh, training guide that we did for the outfield players. We had Donnarumma as well. I think that this guy is a very good build. Now, I'm going to show you something that a lot of people keep asking me. 96 rated Kunde, right? You will say, yeah, he's a really good card. But, I mean, you don't need to have him as a 96. And I'm going to show you why. Because this version of him, the 95 version of him, is actually better. So this 96 version of him that we had there a second ago had got 92 jump, which is a bit overkill, even though he's a bit short. It is overkill. It's not really needed. We're going to put 6 into dexterity. We're going to put 12 into defending, 4 into aerial strength, and then 2 and 2 into goalkeeper 1 and lower body. You might ask why I put it into goalkeeper 1 if you're new here or you haven't watched training guides before. It actually adds to the jump, so you can get that up to the 90 if you want there. Um, if you don't want to do that, of course, you can just pop it into dexterity if you want to give him uh, you know, a bit better speed. You can put 2 into that. It's all the 1, but I would definitely have the... The, the jump there because of his height okay now he does have brilliant player skills he does have everything else there that you could possibly want the one thing is the 88 aggression that won't get the boost but 95 93 and 92 for his other defensive stats and then speed acceleration physical contact and stamina once you have the player form arrow they're all going to go into the 80 zone so this is an insane center back he's a 94 95 overall center back i would definitely pair him with two very solid and uh, strong defensive minded players have him on your right flank or your right side of um right side whatever side your opponent is playing they're fast striker if he's playing a 4-3-3 three, three, you're going to be coming up against fast tricky wingers Kunde can deal with them as a right back but he also has the defensive capabilities as a center back so I definitely think he's a really good player that's why I've spent a bit more time on him let me know what you think of him this pack in my opinion um it is kind of a it is kind of a luxury pack if you've already got a lot of these players but let me know what you guys think and i will be back quite soon with another video just a quick one there and i'll talk to you in a bit don't forget to subscribe